Ever wanted a game so much it physically hurt? Ever found yourself counting the seconds until release day, just wondering how you're going to make it through? Ever wished you could immerse yourself in the setting ahead of time? Relax, my friend. You're playing the waiting game. You can think of the waiting game as a tasty snack for your hungry eyeballs, bringing you five things from the world of games, films and books best suited to get you ready for the games you want. This is the very first episode and we're kicking it all off with a little game called Grand Theft Auto V. No pressure then. No pressure then. Now, GTA is an interesting one to start with, as the series prides itself on basically being all things pop culture anyway. As such, if you're a cinephile, there's no shortage of films you could pick to get you in the mood to visit Los Santos. I'm Ron Howard. This is Grand Theft Auto. No, not that one. That's not even funny. You can watch Kiss Kiss Bang Bang instead. Oh, hurry up. The 2005 film, a playful take on hard-boiled crime fiction, is an ideal way to get yourself used to the tone of Grand Theft Auto V and should whet your appetite for some farcical criminal activity. In it, Robert Downey Jr. plays a thief going undercover as an actor after he stumbles into an audition while trying to escape a robbery gone bad. See, this is what I'm talking about, old school methods. Still with me? Good, because it only gets more farcical from there, with a cast of vibrant, eccentric characters who'd look right at home on the mean streets of Los Santos. Harry, for instance, is a complete bounder, bouncing from mishap to mishap without ever falling out of love with himself, just as delightful cousin Roman bimbles around in GTA 4. The snappy dialogue between the main characters is also pretty similar to the stuff we've seen between Michael, Trevor and Franklin. Back in town, oh, baby! Yeah! Complete. Still not one over? Why not let Val Kilmer convince you instead? I'm gonna break your nose now. Okay. Oh. You see that? He just broke someone's nose. Ow. Did I just cut off your finger? Yeah. Speaking of characters who could be straight out of Grand Theft Auto, Samuel L. Jackson and Robert De Niro put in some pretty stunning performances in Tarantino flick Jackie Brown. The film plays heavily on the tensions between a few prominent criminals, with plenty of deal-making and backstabbing thrown into the mix, something we can probably expect to have to deal with while playing as the three separate protagonists in GTA V itself. Those are group hugs out of the question. <laughs> a lot of Jackie Brown is to do with your past coming back to haunt you, much in the same way as Michael's former life as a bank robber resurfaces to, well, turn him back into a bank robber. What do you want? I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I'm retired. As an added bonus, Jackie Brown is based off the book Rum Punch by Elmore Leonard, giving us the perfect segue to our next recommendation, the writings of Elmore Leonard. I kind of ruined the surprise there. Elmore Leonard, who very sadly passed away recently, wrote an incredible 46 novels during his literary career and even served in the US Navy during World War II. No big deal. While he dabbled in westerns, much of his career was dedicated to pulp and crime fiction. A lot of these books feature a multitude of dumb cops and robbers with only an intrepid few smart enough to pull the wool over their eyes. These characters tend to form a group of elite criminals much in the same way as the city in GTA is structured. You've got your protagonists, your major crime bosses and people with shiny mission icons ready to give you work. Many of Leonard's works have been adapted for the screen. In fact, Get Shorty, Out of Sight and 310 to Yuma all hit cinemas thanks to Elmore Leonard's brilliance. Get Shorty is one of his best-known books dealing with the seedy criminal underbelly of Los Angeles. Sound familiar? It should do, otherwise this is kind of a redundant exercise. Now, obviously, at the end of it, GTA V is a game, so it'd be kind of remiss of us not to mention at least one of those. With it being the fifth in the series, we could obviously recommend you play any of the previous Grand Theft Auto games in order to get you in the mood for the latest, but frankly, you're not stupid enough to have missed that, and I'm not that patronising. Just about. Get down! Instead, I'd like to point you in the direction of Payday 2, an excellent first-person heist game. The better you do, the more gear you get and the more ways you can go about each heist. It's also online, which should help you learn to play nice around other criminals in the big bad city, just in time to lose yourself in GTA Online. And my final recommendation to get you in the mood for the bombastic, violent and 100% adult Grand Theft Auto V is children's stop-motion animation series Wallace and Gromit. No, really. Oh, Wallace is a somewhat blundering but nonetheless brilliant inventor who is flanked constantly by his faithful dog Gromit. 
Sharing a love of tea, cheese and technological improvements, they tend to get into rather a lot of scrapes. Now, what the hell has all this got to do with Grand Theft Auto, you may well ask? Well, it's all about the background. Oh, my bad, Mr. Goldcard. <laughs> One of the best things about the Grand Theft Auto series is the amount of attention Rockstar puts into the little details in the world, meaning you're never far from a hilarious product name or suggestive company slogan. And while Wallace and Gromit doesn't quite go so far as to feature a jet ski called a speedophile, it is rammed with the same kind of subtle humour that creates a truly wonderful atmosphere. So, put your slippers on, make a cup of tea, and watch The Wrong Trousers. It's even about a jewel heist and will get you ready to start spotting all those things you could otherwise miss while playing Grand Theft Auto. All right, that's it from me and from the very first episode of The Waiting Game. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next week, but in the meantime, feel free to make your own recommendations by leaving a comment or tweeting with the hashtag GSWaitingGame. See you next week.